Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, we're here today with part two video for the Multimatic 215. So, we didn't show you the TIG kit. So, today we have a brand new TIG kit. We're going to open it up, show you what it comes with, and we're going to hook it up. So, just came in, opening up the box here, going to show you what all, all the products inside. So, just some extra packaging there. We got a first box out. So well, here we go. We got our regulator, our flow meter. So shows inlet pressure and then the flow at which we're going to run argon through. Set that down. The next box here is our gas hose. Mix up in that. Should be our foot pedal there. So there's our foot pedal, so our remote amperage control, right? So we're gonna plug it in on the inside of the 215. Plugs in on the inside, string it through. That's our amperage control. And very bottom, last but not least. Bottom here, we have a Miller air cooled TIG torch. Yeah consumables kit and the consumables chart so reordering is uh, made simple it just has everything laid out on there all the parts and everything pretty nice little kit um, we're going to show here in just a second hooking this thing up and getting ready for welding all right so now that we got everything unboxed here we got our foot pedal i'll show you guys how to hook this all up so run this cord just as a reference, run it through the bottom there, and as it comes out, you're going to run it around and it plugs in right there. So that is your remote foot control. So now we got that hooked up. Now notice I left the MIG gun hooked up. We can leave the MIG gun hooked up. Put this over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. It says cable air. We know that. So on TIG welding, you run DC electro negative. So this machine does not do AC, only DC only. So DC electro negative, which means our TIG torch is gonna to be hooked to the negative terminal. So we're gonna hook our ground to the positive terminal. We're gonna change our process here. Right there. It's telling us what use 100% argon. We did that. It says on the photo to the negative terminal. Plugs it into the negative terminal. Now notice on the back, right there, there is a uh, gas port. So this has a through through the TIG torch through the DINS connection gas port. So there is no external gas hookup on that. You just hook up on the back of the machine in the TIG port for the argon gas. You're good to go. Cut this. Got the tip torch undone here. So this all comes pre-set up basically for you. It just has the consumables in it. It also comes with this nice kit that has extra consumables, extra tungsten, collet, collet body and nozzles, and a back cap. So this is your back cap. I'm gonna unscrew that. And I'll just show you what's on in here. So we got our tungsten here. Our collet here, looks like we're running a 332nd tungsten. We're gonna take the nozzle off. And then there's our collet body. So our nozzle screws onto the collet body. How this all works, it goes through there. When you tighten the back cap, it pushes on the collet, tightening the tungsten into the collet body, making it so it doesn't move. So our tungsten's got a Good stick out on there, we're gonna to have to sharpen that. But we're basically ready to TIG weld. So, going back to the 215 home screen here, we got a 332nd tungsten, that's what it's asking us. We got a remote plugged in, it's telling us yes. It says 18 gauge, we can increase that because we're gonna weld on some, maybe some, just see, we got quarter inch, we're gonna try quarter inch material. And then you can adjust it accordingly, there's the target setting or you can go all the way up to that. 
we'll, we'll go with the target setting. So notice it says TIG lift arc remote. So this unit does not have high frequency. High frequency is a, an assist to jump the arc across from the tungsten to the base metal to help initiate the arc. This does not have it, so we're gonna have to touch the tungsten, pull off, it's called lift arc. I'll show that here. Um, let me sharpen the tungsten. We're all set up. Got my tungsten sharpened. We got 332nd tungsten, quarter inch material, target setting is 175 amps. Let's give this thing a shot. Now remember with lift arc, you have to lift arc. So my pedal isn't on. Notice I'm touching the tungsten. No arc has been generated. The arc will not start until my foot pedal is pressed and you'll start, you hear gas flow. So right now, you got gas flow, pedals down. I could lift arc off that. Let me show you how that's done. So pedals on, you just lift, it touches and then lift. You get your bead going. So, as you can see there, it just turned out pretty decent. Um, and that's on quarter inch material there. So not too bad, but just like with that lift arc, and sometimes if you're not familiar with it, you're used to high freak, you just touch and it'll feel like it's stuck. Don't rip, don't pull, just, just gently lift up. And if it gives you a little bit of resistance, kind of, you know, you gotta, you gotta pull up just a little bit harder, and then that'll initiate the arc while the foot pedal is depressed. Just remember you gotta keep it down. So there you go, there's the setup on that, on the TIG kit for that Multimatic 215. Um, thanks for watching the video, stay tuned for more. Uh, we're gonna have another video on this 215, some additional stuff. Leave your comments below and I'll be, be sure to answer you guys' questions. Thanks again for watching.